when we first took over the Beacon Theater, you could, when you walked into it, you knew it was a special place. But it was a place that had been sort of used up. We had no idea, though, how beautiful that theater could become until we finished doing the restoration. The Beacon uh, affords you a certain closeness to your audience. And, uh, and your audience is your strength. Your audience is your staying power. They can get whatever kind of show they want, you know? And uh, the Beacon, they, they get it. It's one of those theaters that's large, but when you're on the stage, the audience feels like they're right there. Do you know what I mean? They're not receding into the distance. Sometimes you do these shows out in Los Angeles, and you just feel like the space goes back and back and back and back. It's just uh, got a very comfortable feel. It's, it's sort of like playing in your living room. Uh, except for all those really big chandeliers. And there's something about the beacon where they got the proportions right. It's, that's a big theater, but everyone's right there. I don't know how else to explain it. It's a strange optical illusion. I don't know how they did it. I don't know how the architect created a situation where you're in an intimate room, but at the same time you feel like you're a part of something that's very big. But the beacon...